one. All right, next section is exponential rules level two. Pretty much just a simple, uh, just a more complicated version of the last one because it's level one, level two, level three today. So we can do it. We have negative two Q squared over three Q to the power of negative four squared. And suddenly I just drew that somehow. Okay, so let's deal with the bottom side. Let's take that two as an X one and distribute it. So we have negative two Q squared on the top still. The three is outside of the parentheses, so we leave it alone. But then over here, when we have two or Q to the power of negative four squared, we are going to multiply those two. So Q to the power of negative four times two. So we're just multiplying those exponents. Then we have negative two Q, that's a really weird looking Q, squared over three Q to the power of negative eight. Okay. And then from here, let's take a look at our coefficients, negative two over three, that's already a simplified fraction. Negative two thirds cannot be simplified anymore. So then all we have to do is deal with the Qs. So we just circle them so that you know that that's what we're dealing with. So we keep our negative two over three. And then for the Qs, since they're being divided, all we have to do is subtract the exponents. So it's two minus the negative eight. And then I'll just write it over here. So negative two over three, Q, negative two minus negative eight, that is really just two plus eight. When you subtract the negative, it is adding the positive. So we have two plus eight, which gives us two. And then this would be our final answer. Okay, so negative two Q to the power of 10 over three. I'm gonna pause the video and see if you guys have any questions. Doesn't sound like you guys have questions, so let's go ahead and enter this in. Negative two Q 10 over three. Negative two, two Q <laughs> to the power of 10 over three. Okay, let's do another problem. But and we're going to have 3s to the power of negative 3 to the power of 5 over 3s to the power of negative 2. Okay, so let's deal with the top part. We have this 5 exponent that applies to everything inside the parentheses. So we have 3 to the power of 5, s to the power of negative 3, also to the power of 5, over 3s to the power of negative 3. Okay, and then three to the power of five, I believe you said was 243. And then S to the power of negative three to the power of five, this piece, we're just going to multiply the exponents. So S to the power of negative three times five. And then we have three S to the power of negative two. Okay, so we have 243s to the power of negative 3 times 5, that's just negative 15, over 3s to the power of negative 2. I'm going to continue it over here. So 243 over 3, this is simplifiable. So if you just divide it out, 243 divided by 3, you're just going to get 81, and then it's technically 81 over 1, but that's just 81. <laughs> But I'll write out the one on the bottom anyways, so you know that the three turned into a one. And the 243 turned into the 81. Okay, so we have 81 s to the power of negative 15 over one s to the power of negative two. And then let's deal with the s pieces. So we have 81 on the top, s to the power of negative 15 minus a negative two, top minus bottom. 
and I guess this is technically over one. Oh, I should have used the side space more, but that's okay. I'll just continue over here. Okay, so we have 81s to the power of negative 15 minus negative 2 over 1. So that's going to give us 81s to the power of negative 15 minus negative 2. That's going to be negative 13. All over 1. And then finally, our last step. We have s to the power of negative 13, but we only want to use positive exponents. That was in the instructions. So you're going to take the s to the power of negative 13 that's on the top of your fraction, and you're just going to flip it to the bottom. So 81 over s to the power of positive 13. So the negative 13 exponent on the top got moved to the bottom of the fraction. And now it's a positive 13. And only the s moved because the negative exponent was only related to the s. The 81 stays on top because it's not, the 81 does not have a negative exponent. So the 81 stays where it is. And then only the s got to move. Okay, so I'm going to pause here and see if you guys have any questions. All right, so let's go ahead and enter this in 81 over s to the power of 13. s to the power of 13. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and then we'll go ahead and start on the next one.